dudes. Ten to five. Yeah, I know. I know. Ah, much nicer day out here today. Pretty good. Played some of those snow jumps and right into the sun. <coughs> so, um, start anywhere is the concept. I thought we could talk about a little bit more tonight, today. Um, start anywhere. Um, I've recently experienced the possibilities of start anywhere. It's a concept from uh, probably other places, but most recently where I found it is in uh, um, <laughs> Walk Out, Walk On. Um, and uh, the notion is that you don't have to have a complete plan, that you can start anywhere and things get deeper just by themselves. Deeper, richer, more powerful, more interesting. Um, and if I could say anything about curriculum, I think that might be a philosophy of curriculum that works. Start anywhere. Trust and start anywhere. Um, so, and thinking about 8th graders becoming ninth graders. So if I go to that uh, new school next year that has ninth graders in it, uh, what should the curriculum be? And I'm not at all happy to say that it should be totally open to whatever the kid wants to do. I mean, I am and I'm not, so that's what I'm trying to do to distinguish in what ways am I, in what ways am I not about that. Um, so, uh, I'm pausing because I'm not sure which direction to go here. Lots of thoughts fluttering around there. But uh, I totally buy into the 10 self 10 world questions notion. But as I start to teach a science class, and that's really what I'm doing, um, that has this wonderful connection to rocking the boat and the Bronx River and the environment and the park and Sound View Park and building boxes, nesting boxes first. Um, swallows, tree swallows. <coughs> um, I find myself thinking about how do you start? Right? And that's an important concept. And that's actually how I began to think about it and remember start anywhere. Um, so that's one way to think about start anywhere. So that uh, I have to say, but you know, as I tried to follow out some logical connections and uh, some fun materials around the, the swallows. I got totally um, interested and fascinated by even maybe a little obsessed by those little swallows. Um, and uh, yeah, I found your typical bird guides and so forth. I also found 
really interesting videos. And then what is more interesting to me actually is the scientific studies that are available that look at swallows as an example of a species, an example of how a population works in evolution. Um, and an example of the impact of global warming on that population. It's just totally fascinating um, how much can be learned about both the environment of the birds and the uh, biology of the birds and how those things interact with each other. So that's within you know, one weekend of, of messing around with swallows and thinking about it and finding resources. That's where I end up. And I'm hoping that students find that too. So part of what I want to talk about is how to stay with the 10 self 10 world questions being really your questions. What's on your mind? And then trusting that the experience uh, with building uh, box, nest boxes for swallows will get to those issues. That sounds like a, a leap of faith, doesn't it? And maybe it is. Um, but there's, um, how do I say this? Obviously, I'm not coming blank to the kids. It seems possible to me that you could, you know, we could have these resources available and this place for them to play um, and, and work and inquire. And at the same time, not determine ahead of time what that experience is going to be for them that they can find that themselves. Yeah. So, yeah. So, instead of starting with, you know, watch these videos, and this is one where I thought about, watch these videos of these swallows in their nests and mating and flying and moving and make some observations and uh, the uh, and then say what are ten questions you have about swallows and then what are ten questions you have about the world you could go with swallows and the environment right that kind of makes sense but I kind of want to trust Ten questions about yourself and ten questions about the world. That that they'll find a question in that that can relate to swallows, believe it or not. And if it can't, maybe that's interesting too. You know, maybe not. But. Uh, How I think about curriculum, I think. I think we set up interesting environments, online interactive environments, for them to mess around, learn, grow, expand, and uh, then they, it's their job to find their own questions, develop those questions, and, uh, and pursue them. But, uh, yeah. it's a kind of an easy position for me as the English teacher to take. I'm wondering how that fits with the science teacher's perspective. 
and so I get to play with that a little bit. But start anywhere means for me two things here. And that's, it's okay that it means almost conflicting things. <laughs> so it means, it means that if you can start anywhere, then please start with the student's blank questions about the world and about themselves without any frame and allow them to find questions together that they want to explore. That together part is important. That's discussing and sharing and finding themes and all that. Kind of very a notion of yeah you know starting with your questions and building out to a theme now he he has an object in his philosophy too so that's the the other side of it is that uh, you know you're going to be asking yourself these questions but let's look at these birds these swallows and building these boxes with uh, with the idea of um, the studying these birds, the swallows, as being the kind of other place to begin. So if you can start anywhere. We can start with swallows, we can start with bluebirds, we can start with bats, we can start with a lot of different things. I don't think that means that you could start with anything. And I, I appreciate the fact that swallows have an important role to play in evolutionary biology and the study of animal populations, uh, whereas pigeons probably don't, right? So. I don't think you can start with anything, but it may feel like anything, you know? And maybe there's a little trust in there. And trust me, I've looked at this and birds are fascinating. <laughs> The um, connections back to 